Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, hi, I'm Carolina and I'm so excited to be taking you guys through a what eight in a week for today's video. I am going to be showing you guys how I use my meal prep throughout the week. You guys always ask me so many questions about what meals I make with the food that I prepare and just ideas on how to move through your week and eat what you make. So if you didn't watch my meal prep video, I will link that on screen and down below in the description as well. It's Monday morning and Pedro, who if you guys don't know is my husband, just left for his new job. He's starting a new job today, so he's in the office. And I'm about to get started with my morning routine. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I am eating in the morning. I have been loving meditating and journaling first thing in the morning before I go to the gym. So before that, I've been preparing my matcha and some green juice. If you've watched my returning to routine video, which I uploaded a few videos back, you would have known this. I'll show you guys tomorrow exactly how I prepared this, but I just frothed up some almond milk with a teeny bit of maple syrup and matcha. And then I'm having some of my homemade green juice that we made in a herm juicer yesterday when we were meal prepping. So when I don't have fresh juice on hand, I usually just have like a green powder with water. But if I have fresh green juice in my fridge, I'm gonna have the fresh green juice, right? And this is the morning beverage lineup. I'm also gonna take my supplements before I get started. Elix immunity support. As always, taking my women's multi-herbal and my daily calm from within. As you guys might remember from the returning to routine video, I was taking my beekeeper's natural spray. I get my daily dose of immunity and propolis. Supplements have been taken. I'm gonna go journal and meditate and drink my greens and my matcha and then I'm gonna go to the gym and I'll bring you guys along. of so much fiber so i really gotta make sure i drink lots of water today mm. chia seed pudding was kind of like a texture thing like some people don't like it but i love it i love anything with like pudding texture and like thick texture so good i love adding any kind of fruit on top you can mix it up adding peanut butter or almond butter that's the trick makes it so good you could also add like jam i feel like that would be so good delicious i think a lot of people have this like idea in their head that healthy food doesn't taste good or it's like not very flavorful or it's weird with my recipes what i love to do is to make sure that i'm giving myself nutrients protein fiber all the things but making it taste good right because when something is fun when something tastes good it's something you're going to look forward to and that makes it easier to implement into your life it makes it easier for it to become a habit and just to become a part of who you are but my intention with these videos is never for you to compare what you are eating to me we're also different and that is like the core principle of holistic health and like living a holistically healthy lifestyle is just realizing that we are all bio individuals and what works for me might not work for you so you have to take the time to try things out and then figure out what's best for you what makes you feel really good what works with your gut with your lifestyle with the time that you have so again take anything i share as inspiration as ideas but never as like the rule i'm gonna enjoy my breakfast I'm reading the Court of Thorns and Roses series on my Kindle and I'm like 75% into the second book and I literally can't stop thinking about it. It's so good. So I'm gonna read my book a little bit while I eat and then I'm gonna get started with work. I have a lot of editing work to do today on the computer and then I also want to record a podcast and a brand deal that I have to film. So that's on the calendar. I also have like wedding stuff that I need to do. Our wedding is gonna be in Brazil and in August. And so there's just lots on my plate, but I'm gonna try to get some editing done first and then deal with the rest. 
Hi you guys, it's a little bit later in the day and I just filmed a hair reset routine. I'm doing a collaborator post on Instagram with DP Hue, which is one of my favorites, if not my favorite hair care brand. Their stuff is just so good and they have this apple cider vinegar line of products that is just really good if you're needing just like a little reset for your scalp, for your hair overall, and it just always makes my hair feel so clean. I'm very excited. The video turned out really good. I got a lot of good footage, so now I have to put it together and I'm gonna fill up my water bottle and get to editing and then I'm gonna have lunch in a little bit so I'll catch you guys then too okay the hunger has hit and it's time to make a lunch well just make her plate actually and I'm gonna have the pasta salad today because I've been wanting to eat pasta salad for so long so that's what I'm gonna have with some chicken. Okay, this is ready to go. I got my pasta salad with chicken and I'm so excited. Oh, it looks so good. And it tastes even better. Wow, this is perfection. It tastes so good, like the combination of the fresh basil with the pesto and then the arugula and tomato, feta, and the chicken is just like such a complete plate and I had to put zero effort into it. I just had to put it together and warm up my chicken, but like I could have also had this with cold chicken. I just think the texture of the chicken is slightly better when you warm it up. Today has been such a productive day. I filmed a whole brand deal. I did emails. I edited a bunch. Filmed a lot of content for like Instagram and TikTok. It's now like 7 p.m. and Pedro's back from work. So we're gonna make some taco bowls. We use the meal prepped ground beef, the meal prepped rice, Brussels sprouts as well. I'm gonna add some spinach to mine, tomato, feta to top it off, and cilantro. The only thing that might be slightly out of place is the Brussels sprouts, but we got rice, ground beef, spinach in the bottom with lemon, some Greek yogurt with a little bit of feta, cilantro and tomato, a fourth of an avocado, Brussels sprouts in the back. Let's eat. Taste test. I kind of want to give this a mix. I feel like I like my taco bowls just like very mixed together, you know? Look at that. Hocked pork. Mm-hmm. The combination of the rice with the cilantro, the tomato, the meat, like everything together is just exactly what I wanted. I'm so happy. I just got back from the gym, full body strength workout today. It was awesome. Did some walking on the treadmill, some editing. I'm feeling like my morning is already off to such a productive start. And now it's time to get started with work. So I'm gonna prep my overnight oats for breakfast and I'm just gonna eat and do work today. I'm meeting my friend Maddie at a coffee shop today to hang out and do some work together at 2 p.m. And it's 10.30 right now. And I wanna make sure that I finish a video that I've been working on for a little bit before I meet her. So so that's the goal. I have to edit like 20 minutes of footage and then put together the whole video. So that might take a little while, but my goal is to be really focused and to get it done. I'm gonna have my overnight oats that I prepped. It's a vanilla flavor and I'm gonna top it off with some raspberries. Tell me this doesn't look freaking phenomenal. So delicious. First bite. Honestly, adding jam to your overnight oats, such a hack. And the jam that I like a lot is from this brand, Good Good. A lot of jams can have like high fructose corn syrup or just like really not so great ingredients. So this brand really makes sure that the ingredients are good and it doesn't have any like added sugar and stuff. So 
Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go enjoy this and do some work. Hello you guys, I just did a lot of editing work and got changed. I'm going to meet my friend Maddie in a little bit, so I'm going to prep my lunch to take with me and let me show you guys what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a little quinoa salad situation. Okay, this is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the quinoa, grilled chicken, cabbage, some squash, zucchini. back home and i just spent a good 45 minutes scrolling on my phone which is totally okay but i still have a lot of work to do so i'm gonna have myself a little olipop i haven't had one of these in a while and they released a new ginger ale flavor or at least i haven't tried it before so let's do a live taste test here we have our ginger ale olipop let's try it out cheers it's perfect Wow, it tastes exactly like ginger ale and it's healthy with prebiotics, plant fiber, botanical. Sign me up. I'm gonna go do some YouTube editing. I'm gonna go do some work. I'll catch you guys very soon when we make dinner. It's time for dinner. I'm gonna microwave this and it'll be ready to go. Talk about deliciousness. We got some turkey meatballs, Brussels sprouts and cauliflower, and carrots. And I want to add a little bit of avocado. Now I'm going to take a little break from editing. I've been at it for the last like two hours. And it's been feeling so good. I really want to finish the video that I'm working on. And while I am eating, I'm just going to watch a little bit of YouTube. Just relax. And then I'll get back to work. Because I really want to finish this by the end of the day. Hi friends and good morning. Today is Wednesday. I just got back from the gym. I had a kind of a funky morning routine because I like had to do a little bit of work first thing in the morning, but I had my greens, I had my matcha and went to the gym and I did 15 minutes of walking on the treadmill and 15 minutes of running. And I normally don't love running on the treadmill, but it actually wasn't bad. It was actually quite nice. Then I did 30 minutes of an arm workout from the form app and I need to fuel my body now. I need to give it some protein, some nutrients, and fuel so i'm gonna have the protein overnight oats that i made in the meal prep i have the chocolate one left over i'm gonna add some yogurt to it i'm gonna add some fruit it's gonna be delicious let's get into it let's do it overnight oats blueberries yogurt and i might add a couple more toppings too these oats have kind of like a funky texture to them i don't know what i did differently this time the protein powder just didn't mix super well into it which is fine it still tastes good but it's just the texture is different like a large amount like that <laughs> just want to fix this texture it's also kind of late right now it's 11 44 so i'm having definitely a very late breakfast today but i'm also going to use the rest of this banana here i ate a little bit of it before the gym pop it off with some cinnamon breakfast is served 
Wow, so pretty. Let's try it. The yogurt definitely made the consistency better. It's delicious. The cinnamon also added such a good twist and I love a banana berry combination, like a banana blueberry mix, my favorite. Side note, if you watched my getting back into routine week in my life video that I uploaded, you will know this already, but I started reading the Akatar series, also known as the Court of Thorns and Roses series. When I was flying back from Europe to New York, I read essentially the whole first book. I was like 85% done with it and I finished it like in my first day being back here. Then I downloaded the second book and I finished it last night. So I read it in two weeks and the book is like this thick. It's 700 pages It's probably like the longest book I've ever read in my life and I read it in two weeks. It was so good Oh my god, I like finished it last night Which is why I ended up going to bed later than I wanted to but like there was an hour left of the book and I just had to finish it And you guys the ending of the second book is just absolutely insane Like if you've read Akatar and if you've read the second book A Court of Mist and Fury Please comment below because I am just mind blown at like all of the stuff that happens in the last like 10% of the book It's actually crazy There was a similar vibe of like crazy stuff happening in the last like 10% of the book in the first book But this was like a whole other level of a plot twist. So I'm still thinking about it I already downloaded the third book But I'm not gonna let myself read it before I completely unwind from work because I want to be laser focused today I have a lot of editing to do I have like brand deals to turn in even wedding things that I can get done because if I start reading this book in the middle of the workday like during lunch or right now I know that I'm not gonna be able to focus I'm gonna eat and then go shower and get ready for the day and I'll catch you guys in a little bit <laughs> hello friends I'm having a great day so productive after I had breakfast I ended up like going straight to my computer and just getting these tasks that I was putting off done and honestly there's no feeling like that when you're just like you know what I'm gonna just do it <laughs> you just like Embrace the Nike slogan and you just go for it and you just like start tackling task after task in your to-do list that you just keep putting off They're like are the tasks that seem a little bit intimidating or annoying to do That's what I just did and I feel amazing now. It's like four hours after I had breakfast I had breakfast basically at like 1130 noon. It's now 430 So I'm having like a very very late lunch for some people This would almost be dinner, but I'm basically gonna have a meal right now And we'll see if I get hungry close to like later tonight like eight or so and if I'm hungry, I'll have another meal or a snack. We'll see. But let's go build this plate. I also just got done up because I'm going to record some podcasts. And I just decided I'm going to record them on video. Because I got some new lights and they came in today. So I'm going to try to set them up and hopefully it'll work. Because I wasn't vibing with my lighting setup for the Inner Grove podcast from before. And this is like my return to the podcast because I took a slight break when I went um traveling so it's been a month since i haven't uploaded so i'm gonna try to get two episodes out and maybe even three but i'm gonna aim for two we'll see how it goes but let's make food first these sweet potatoes turned out so good i just think cabbage is such a good base like when you don't want lettuce just some roasted cabbage it's also so good cauliflower turkey meatballs we have a lot of broccoli so i'm gonna try to use up some of these i got this coco june labneh lemon dill dip it's kind of like coconutty, so I'm gonna put this. I kind of wish I had fresh dill, but I do have fresh cilantro, so I might throw some of that in there. I mean, from this outfit, I'm wearing some linen pants from Abercrombie, and the sweater is from Rag and Bone. I'm pretty sure I gave this to my mom for Christmas two Christmases ago, and she never wears it because she lives in Florida, so I just took it from her closet. Some cabbage, just go for it. I'm gonna microwave this now. Voila, vegan lavender. A little tablespoon like that. I like this to like dip the meatballs and stuff. I'm gonna use a fourth of the avocado. Knowing myself, knowing my body, I know this is like a lot of fiber for me just to have in one go. So I'm gonna take my Bye Bye Bloat capsules from Love Wellness. I love these. I brought them in my trip to Europe and I had them like when I was gonna have a lot of dairy and stuff. Two capsules and it has like digestive enzymes and what else? Fenugreek, dandelion root, fennel, ginger parsley nice little ingredients that help reduce like some gastrointestinal discomfort it's gonna be a little bit preventative today because a lot of the times i don't i don't do that and then i regret it after look at that it's like a rainbow plate so beautiful i am shook the lighting in my office right now is so much better thanks to this 
actual light that I bought on Amazon and I don't even need two like I thought I was gonna need a second light and I honestly don't think I will because this one's so bright already but it like means I can record at night it means I'm not like affected by the time of day that I'm recording my podcast and this just up leveled my at-home recording setup so much I am so happy hi guys Hi guys, it's 9.45 and I just finished recording two episodes for the podcast. I probably would have finished work way earlier, but I had to record an episode twice because the audio wasn't working and it was a little bit annoying, but we got it done. Return to the podcast has been ignited and I want to just like batch a few solo episodes going into next week i just want to have a bunch of things like ready to go and my mom comes into town next week for us to go wedding dress shopping so my goal is to record a couple more between now and when she gets here we're off to a good start the new lighting setup is so good i just heated up a little bowl of food just to nourish myself because i am hungry and it's been like now almost five hours since i've eaten so i'm gonna eat this watch some tv with pedro we're watching this show on apple tv called bad sisters i think we're on episode five and call it a night i need to like watch some tv chill out i really 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 wish that i had stopped work earlier so i could be getting into bed right now the podcast episode that i just recorded was all about discipline and structuring your life but when you're thinking about structuring your life you also have to leave room for flexibility which is what i was saying in the episode is like some days are busier than others some days are just different and so it's way better to be compassionate with yourself and work with what you have instead of like punishing yourself for your day not going how it's supposed to and like sometimes imposing less rules is better. Good morning. It is Thursday. I just did my full morning routine. I had my greens, my matcha, meditated, journaled, went to the gym, showered. Now I'm going to have a very quick breakfast. I have a coaching call in 10 minutes. So I'm going to have some chia seed pudding with yogurt and banana. It's going to be phenomenal. I'm kind of short on time, so let's jump into it and get the day going. So beautiful as well, and we're ready to eat. Honestly, what a perfect combination of flavors. So perfect. Mm. I'm gonna eat this super quick, and in five minutes, I'm gonna hop on my call, and I'll catch you guys when I make lunch. I'm about to hop on my second coaching call for the day, so I'm gonna add my peak and my armra colostrum to my water. I love the peak electrolytes so much. I honestly love my coaching call days. They're so fun and it's just so awesome to support women on their journey to becoming their best selves, on their inner growth journey, on their relationship with their body. And the thing about holistic health coaching and working with people on inner growth coaching specifically is that every client is so unique and like everyone comes from a different place and so i just get to do it like so personalized for each one and i build such a deep and meaningful relationship with each client but at the same time there are so many similar patterns that i see in between my clients the more clients that i work with and it's just like so empowering i just finished my calls i'm gonna have some lunch then i am going to do some editing for some short form content record a couple more podcasts and i'm just like obsessed with my new setup my new lights changed the game for my office so yeah i can't really record during the daytime that much because there is some type of construction going on in my street so it's a little bit noisy sometimes but they actually paused the noise so i think it's done for the day but i will get to the podcast later and i'm gonna focus on my editing first i'm gonna make a little quinoa bowl today with quinoa and sweet potato cauliflower and brussels sprouts and turkey meatballs because these are so good i can't stop having them warm this up <laughs> i put the labne which i actually really enjoyed yesterday perfect look at that this is probably one of my favorite combinations from this week got my quinoa and veggie mix of feta tzatziki and some meatballs on top no you guys this is so freaking good you have no idea adding some type of dressing to your quinoa it can be hummus it can be pesto even olive oil and lemon just gives it the best texture like it gives it more flavor also mm. 
So that's why I have 10 meals. <laughs> like, so good. And the meatballs, also so flames. I'm gonna watch a little bit of YouTube, take a small break. Then get back to work. Editing is still in full swing and it is 6.30 and Pedro and I are hungry so we're gonna have an early dinner. He already made his plate so he'll show us what he put in his plate but I'm gonna probably have some rice, chicken, some veggies. Let's go prepare it. Okay, finished plate. We have some rice, grilled chicken. Brussels sprouts and zucchini and a little bit of avocado. Good morning friends, happy Friday. It felt so good to move my body this morning. It's very rainy, but I'm feeling so energized now and I have a call in like seven minutes. I'm actually talking to a very exciting company. I have to eat something before this call and this brand called Brecky sent me their overnight oats and I actually ran out of all my meal prepped breakfast, so this is perfect. They sent me literally like all of these different flavors. There's so many different ones. I think I'm feeling like a chocolate or maybe apple. You know what? I'm gonna do blueberry and then I'm gonna add fresh blueberries to it. I'm gonna try it out by itself first. Just do a little taste test. Oh, the texture is perfect. It's good, kind of crunchy. Wow, this looks truly gorgeous and it was so easy. So good. Okay, I just broke my mini tripod trying to place my camera down. That's how our morning is going. I'm gonna try this out. I'm excited to see the combination with the yogurt and how it tastes. Mm. <laughs> that is delightful. Friends! Two podcast episodes recorded and I'm gonna try to record two more today, but I'm gonna have lunch first. And I have to say, I'm very proud. We've made such good progress with using all of the things from the meal prep. And I think by dinner time, we're gonna have gone through pretty much all of it, which is exciting because we ate the food we made, feeling good. I'm gonna have pasta salad today with turkey meatballs. And it's gonna be delightful. I'm gonna throw in some broccoli too. warm this up as well if I wanted. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put a little bit more feta. Beautiful lunch bowl and pasta with two turkey meatballs, pesto, feta, and some broccoli. Delish, delish. Okay, you guys, it is, what time is it? Seven? Seven minutes. Pedro's back from work. Three podcasts, or four podcasts, have been recorded. Posts have been made. DMs have been answered. I did a Q&A on Instagram. It's been a productive day, and it's the weekend. So we're gonna make some dinner, and I'm gonna show you guys everything that's left of the meal prep that we're gonna work with to make our dinner. We have some broccoli, rice, and grilled chicken. We also have some baby carrots, snap peas, and some mushrooms. So we're gonna basically take all of this and make it into like a stir fry of sorts. Pedro's gonna help me with the mushrooms. He's gonna start washing them and cutting them. And I'm gonna chop the snap peas and the carrots.
my nighttime magnesium drink which tastes so good. I'm obsessed. It tastes like raspberry jello. Major and I had such a lovely dinner. That rice, pesto, veggie, chicken combo was so good. And we've now used up pretty much everything from the meal prep. feel very proud of that. We have a little bit of some veggies I chopped up left over, which maybe we can use at some point this weekend. We're gonna go to sleep, so cheers and happy Friday. <laughs> morning i'm making my morning matcha and i'm trying to gather up motivation because I signed up for the new york city half marathon which is in the middle of march which is basically in two months in a little bit less than, than two months actually and i have not run like gone on a run outside since barcelona and i need to start building up distance and i've only been running 5ks so i feel like today i would need to like either do a 5k or try to like push past a 5k and do a little bit more so i need to like just gather up the motivation. I downloaded this app called Runna. Trying to figure out what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna start out by making a matcha, making my greens, doing my regular routine of like my journal and my meditation, and then I'm probably gonna go on a run. And it's not that cold today. It's only six degrees Celsius, which is like 40 Fahrenheit. So not bad, not bad. This is a small business from South Africa who sent me their products. It's called Earn Me and this is their Soothe. So it soothes inflammation and supports the immune system. Basically one dropper. My little feet present. Okay, Using my mind right here. Told you guys before, this is the best green powder I've found. I've been loving it. I just love this brand Mind Right. They make healthy products, but then they also have like nootropics mixed in. Tastes amazing also. And these are my green beverages in the morning, which I have been absolutely loving. It also makes me feel like I'm doing something good for my body. Boom, boom, boom. Mm. Run is complete. We're having some breakfast now at our favorite Italian coffee shop. That felt so good. I'm just so happy to have done something uncomfortable and to be back into running longer distances. That was the first time I ran five miles in like a super long time, but we're back and I'm feeling excited. How gorgeous is this? Oh my gosh. friends and happy sunday so rainy today and it was so gloomy yesterday but we had a pretty lovely saturday it was so nice in the morning Pedro and i went on a run to prospect park and i'm surprisingly not that sore today i'm not really feeling anything crazy which is good and it was my first time running five miles in a really long time so i'm very proud of that and then i went to williamsburg and i met up with my friend acacia from college we had lunch and then my friend Gabby, her boyfriend Laudo, and Pedro met me in Williamsburg slash Greenpoint, which is this really cute area in Brooklyn if you guys have never been to Brooklyn before. We walked around, went to a really cute vinyl store and bought a new vinyl for our record player. And then we were just wandering around and ended up stumbling upon this super cute coffee shop and wine bar that opened four months ago. And it's called Flower Cat. And the vibe inside was like... Your grandma's house, elevated chic with flowers and cute drinks. And it was so, so cute. We had a couple of glasses of wine there. And then we went to this French restaurant and had dinner. And after that, Pedro and I just came back home. I read a little bit, went to bed. And today's gonna be a very fun day also because I have an event at 12.30. It's 10 a.m. now. And the event I'm going to is an event hosted by my friend Anna Wolferman, who's one of my social media friends. And it's gonna be like a Pilates work out and panel it's just gonna be cute i like have never met her in real life so this is gonna be my first time meeting her which i'm super excited about and the workout is gonna be led by one of my 
So she made a friend's grace. It shall be lovely. And then Pedro is going to meet me after. And we're going to get like a late lunch situation with our friends Marcella and Gabby. Who are two of our Brazilian friends who live here in New York. It's going to be a lovely day. I'll bring you guys along. And I want to have a little matcha and green juice now. Do my journaling and meditation. This is my favorite part. Breakfast is served. We picked up a cardamom bun from the bakery and then some fresh sourdough baguette. Pedro made some eggs. I'm gonna quickly eat this before I have to head out for my event. I already got ready, but I don't have a lot of time. We're gonna quickly eat. Wow, the eggs are so good. Mmm, delicious. Cardamom bun looks so good. Take a little piece. Gonna try it out. Mmm, it's so doughy. Wow, it's really good. The perfect amount of cardamom and seasonings. It's doughy, not too sweet. Perfect. full self-care mode right now. I put on a little 15 minute face mask from Cora, I think it is a brand. I'm looking like a little crazy bunny right now, but I'm heating up some food. Night for dinner, we're keeping it pretty simple. Just heating up the leftovers from Friday night and that's what we're gonna have. A little stir fry with veggies and pesto, perfect. I'm gonna put a little bit of feta on top. And voila, dinner is served. I'm gonna go eat and enjoy. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed following along this week of eating and I hope that it gave you inspo on how to use your meal prep throughout the week and actually make sure that you use the food that you make, that you take the time to make. I also hope it just gave you overall meal ideas and different ways to make healthy eating taste amazing. I also wanted to make a side comment about protein because as you guys know, I'm a big advocate for protein. I'm always encouraging people to make sure they get enough protein because that is so important to make sure that you are feeling energized, that you're helping your hair, your muscles, your energy levels, all these amazing things. And so I have made so many videos in the past that are 100 grams of protein where I was very, very intentionally prioritizing protein. And on this video, as I was going through the week, as I was filming it, I was actually not doing that as much. I was still making sure my meals were balanced, but I didn't make sure that I hit 100 grams throughout the week. And as you can see, I didn't actually surpass 100 grams on any single day. And on the days that I did eat more protein, it was because I had protein at breakfast. Another way to help you eat more protein is to add in a protein packed snack. I also did not do that on any of the days of this week. And so on the days that I didn't have a protein packed snack and I did not eat protein at breakfast or that much protein at breakfast, I ate significantly less protein overall. Oh my God, I just said protein so many times. I just wanted to make sure to mention this so that you can also have an idea of how much protein you might end up eating if you're not being intentional about it, if you're not making a proactive effort to include it more in your meals. And if you guys want to have the combinations that I made with with the meal prep at the palm of your hands so that you can recreate the same combinations and meals. There will be a free PDF and grocery guide below. I will also mention which of the meal prepped recipes I used in each combination. So definitely check that out if you want. If you are not yet subscribed, join my YouTube family. Let's be friends. Hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. And also let me know in the comments which of the recipes looked the best to you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, I love you all so much. And I will see you next week with another one. Mwah.